Uh, once upon a time, I wanted to start making knives because I like stabbing things. Who doesn't? Um, but I didn't know how to do this. Blacksmith, forge, blah, blah, blah. The barrier to entry to there is that I did not have a forge. OK, don't have a forge, can't make knives. Uh, then I was, I can't remember the context. I was looking into something, and I found out that, oh, a simple forge you can make from a paint can with insulating brick inside, and it runs off of a blowtorch. This little thing can get up to 2,000 degrees. It just takes a flame from the blowtorch, and it's insulated, and the heat keeps building, 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 building. And I've got an industrial thermometer I stuck in there. I can get to thousands of degrees in here, which is enough to do any kind of the heat treating, any of the stuff that you're going to want for making knives. Materials for making knives, it's from I was making crossbows a while ago, and it was driving me crazy, like the heat, like keeping the metal springy, et cetera, et cetera. And I thought, I'm going to need to do something else with this later. And that was knives, which I started making. These are made out of the um, same steel that is in the leaf spring of a car or truck. It's 5160 carbon steel for those that are into that. This is what they're like before, you know, cut the steel out, grind, shape it down, and then um, heat treat it in here, and then do all the different tempering and things to get the edge in the way that you want so that it's hard enough to keep an edge, but also flexible enough that it won't snap when you use it. There's a whole deep, interesting world there. Blacksmithing, it used to be that if you were living in a village a thousand years ago, and you wanted to get into technology, so you are a career day a thousand years ago, and I'm interested in technology, there's one job. Blacksmith. That's it. That's all technology. You know? Learn blacksmithing. 